Biography of Mrs. Olabisi Ameze Osage JP Ni Igbenegye. Olabisi Ameze Osage was born on a sunny Friday, 12th of January 1973 in Ibadan to her lovely parents, Mr. and Mrs. Igbenegye. She moved to Benin City at the age of six with her parents in 1979 and attended Iyoba Primary School, Benin City from September 1979 to June 1985. She then progressed to Emotan College, Benin City, where she received her full secondary education and passed out in flying colors in 1991. Olabisi's quest for the kind of firepower that good education gives saw her proceed to the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU Ileife, in the 1992-1993 session and obtained her a Bachelor of Arts degree BA Hans in English language. By divine providence, Bissi as she was fondly called, met her soulmate and heartthrob Dr. Samson Osage, who was a law student also at the Obafemi Awolowo University at the time. Upon graduation in the 1997-98 academic session, Olabisi proceeded to serve her country under the National Youth Service Scheme NYSE, in Uyo, Akwaibom State. She completed the mandatory scheme in 1998. Olabisi's first proper job was as a classroom teacher at Ibinadion Education Center Secondary, Benin City from 2000 to 2001. Bessie had an unrelenting and contagious drive to succeed in life. She later joined the Edo State Judiciary as Administrative Officer and rose to the rank of Principal Registrar in 2007. On March 20, 1999, Olabisi got married to the love of her youth and her heartthrob, Samson Osage, who was already in private legal practice at that time. Since then, there has been no looking back as Bissi's every step was geared towards building a loving home while at the same time giving support to the advancement of her husband's professional and political endeavors. In 2007, due to the family's relocation to Abuja following the election of her husband into the House of Representatives, Bissi transferred service to the Edo State Liaison Office, Abuja, where she spent two years as a senior administrative officer. In 2009, she joined the Border Communities Development during her lifetime, she exuded a strong character of a principled and morally upright woman. Bissi was level-headed and epitomizes the virtuous woman referred to in Proverbs 31. A virtuous woman who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above me. Olabisi was a hard worker, a team player, a trusted friend, a loving sister, a dependable wife, and an irreplaceable mother. She loved and cared for her family. She supported her husband unconditionally and engendered a peaceful home for her family. Bissi was just a joy to be around. She enjoyed traveling and meeting people and constantly struck up conversations with strangers she met on her path, making strong and lasting impressions on them. Olabisi was truly a shiny light. Although her years may seem short, she has left various degrees of lasting impacts on the lives of all those with whom she crossed paths. To her friends and siblings, Bissy was a rallying force. To the world, Bissy was a source of encouragement. To her immediate family, Bissy was the world and more. She was indeed a jolly good fellow. Ola Bissi was a Jerusalem pilgrim, JP having visited the Holy Land twice on Christian pilgrimages. She was a devout Christian, a member of the Baptist faith, and an active member of the Women's Missionary Union, WMU. She is survived by her mother, siblings, husband, and four beautiful children, Uyogosa, Ikwongosa, Esosa, and Egosa. Olabisi is gone, no doubt, but never to be forgotten because hers was a life specially scripted by the Almighty. The onus is on those of us she has left behind to stay true to ourselves and live our lives free of worries.
full of peace and joy, just the same way our dear Olabisi led her life. Today, our hearts stand still and motionless. Today, we are consumed in grief, but our consolation is in knowing that there shall be a resurrection morning, where we shall meet again to part no more. Sleep well, Bisi, and may your beautiful soul rest peacefully in the Lord's bosom. Sure. 